What's poppin' Connor High? Today is January 23rd, 2020. I'm Ian. And I'm Jordan. In today's show, we will be talking about frozen iguanas falling from trees and the new Amazon Fire TV sticks. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. Frozen iguanas are falling from trees in South Florida. The iguanas are still alive, but due to temperatures going below 50 degrees, the iguanas are becoming cold, stunned, and plummeting from the trees. Local 10 News reporter Parker Branton stumbled upon eight iguanas frozen stiff one day morning in Dania Beach. And the National Weather Service in Miami issued a tweet saying, quote, This isn't something we usually forecast, but don't be surprised if you see iguanas falling from the trees tonight. They then followed that with a weather report saying the temperature will be in the between of 30s and 40s. In recent news, Amazon Fire TV is planning to release new Fire Sticks. Look out for Amazon to roll out the new sticks in 2020. Also, it is possible Amazon will ditch the slightly cheaper HD versions. In 2018, Amazon released an OTA DVR for your antennas. Since then, Amazon has uh, slowly been improving it with software updates. So keep an eye out for the new Fire TV Recast DVR, most likely in late 2020. They are also planning to change the user interface to look new. This update will be promoting subscription channels. Also look for Amazon to make finding content you've made subscribe to easier to find in a single spot inside the Fire TV user interface. We will now take it to a quick commercial break. Always say that you are your own worst critic, but critic is just another word for judge. And when, you, well, you are your own biggest judge, you can become your own jeller. Who are you for that matter? Well, that's up to you. Don't let the thing holding you back keep you from moving forward. By pushing forward, you can achieve anything you want, anything you believe in. And for that, it gives us hope. Hope towards redemption. Be the better you. 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 This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Good afternoon, good people. I'm Sunny, your weather anchor for today. Today the high will be 55 degrees and low 41 degrees, and it will be raining all day, so make sure to bring an umbrella. Tomorrow we will be having a high of 60 degrees and a low of 42 degrees, being partly cloudy. On Friday, the high will be 63 degrees and a low of 39 degrees, being sunny cloudy. And finally, on Saturday, we will have a, low, a high of 65 degrees and a low of 53 degrees, with a 40% chance of rain. And on, finally on Sunday, the high will be 63 degrees and a low of 48 degrees. Now for the fact of the day. Bacon was used to make explosives in World War II. We will now take it to cooking with culinary. So we're going to start off by adding one teaspoon of olive oil to the pan. We're also going to add two cloves of garlic minced. And we're going to let that get ready for a bit. And then we're gonna let that get ready, like I said. Uh, and then after that gets ready, we're gonna add two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. No. So like it's golden. So while that's cooking, I'm going to ask you a question. What made you join uh, culinary? Oh, well, I just like cooking and baking, so I just thought it'd be fun. Will you be doing uh, culinary next year? Uh, I was planning on to, but I'm still deciding. 
because I do want to try other classes. Will you be joining Skills USA for culinary? I was planning on to and still still thinking about it. Okay, and then we're gonna add the peppers. And we're just gonna stir it up real quick so I can get every on like on all the chicken. Okay, and after that we're gonna add a whole one fourth of a cup of pine nuts mints into the pan also. And we're just gonna stir that up. Now that we're finished with that, we're gonna add a bowl of pasta that's already been cooked. So after the pasta, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna add the sun-dried tomatoes into it. We're gonna mix it up also. And after that, we're gonna have half a cup of pesto sauce and just stir it up also. Perfect. Okay. So now that the pasta is done, what are we doing next? Uh, we're going to plating. So tell me how important plating is. It's really important because it look, it's, we try to make it look the best. So when we turn it into like the customers or like anybody, we have to make it look the plate, leave the plate clean and to where like it looks good for them to eat it. So after preparing this meal, do you think that you're ready now to cook for NASA? Um, I think, yeah, I think we're both ready to cook for NASA. It's not that much of a hard work cooking this plate. And how do you feel, Alex? Uh, about the same way, uh, now that we have some practice. We know what we're going to do, so it shouldn't be that hard. We know all the steps, we have all the ingredients, and uh, we should be able to do a pretty good job presenting to the people at NASA. So now that uh, they finished cooking, we're just going to go for it and try it. Ready? Yeah. Get a little piece of chicken. Yo, that smacks. <laughs> what do you think of it? I think it's really good. You can feel the spice. I think it came out pretty good. You can definitely feel the spice. <laughs> I feel it. Well, that's all we have. And uh, thanks so much for watching. And tune in next time for more Cooking with Culinary. Hey, everyone. We wanted to finish out our newscast today with a few announcements. Seeking female athletes willing to work hard and be a positive teammate. Conroe Tigers softball tryouts begin Friday, January 24th at 3 p.m. Saturday, January 25th at 9 o'clock a.m. And Monday, January 27th at 3 p.m. Please come dressed appropriately with your own equipment, especially a glove. You must have a physical on fire with the trainer. You must be passing all classes for the last grading period. Hey y'all, our Chinese Spring Festival celebration is here. Celebration is in main campus cafeteria from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Thursday, January 23rd. Everyone is welcome to join us. We ask a $5 donation. This donation includes a meal and drink for you at the event. The donation wristband will be issued from Ms. Shang in room 2019 main campus or room 101 9th grade campus. UIL journalism will meet this Thursday in Miss Gold room number 227, right after school. Snacks will be provided and new members are welcome to attend. On Saturday, February 1st, 
the Golden Girls will be hosting their annual bingo night. Prices range from $25 to $250. There will be 10 games you could win, along with other raffles, door prizes, and great food. This year's 60s hippie theme, so come support and share the love. As boys and girls won their matches on Friday, the boys eked out a win 19-18 against Candy Creek and are 8-0 on the season. The girls team won a forfeit against Candy Creek and are 4-1. Next is up is Oak Ridge on Friday. This week's College of the Week is Lamar University. Lamar University is located in the Beaumont area, which is only an hour and 45 minutes away from Conroe. Lamar offers both face-to-face -face and online programs, so there is something for everyone. With 53% of the students' population being first-generation college students, they are known to help students throughout the college process. The reason art and science as well as education are among the fastest growing programs at the university. This Division I university offers a wide range of programs that meet a variety of needs for all students who attend. Check out this video. A lifetime is made up of moments that shape us into who we are. At Lamar University, whether you're preparing for graduate school or for your chosen career path, you will receive a well-rounded education that will give you what you need to succeed wherever your path leads you. Your moment is here. Your moment is now. Make the most of it at Lamar University. Register today at lamar.edu. Before we go, we wanted to give you a quick reminder, KTIG will be hosting a talent show here at CHS this March. We are so excited about this event. The date of the show will be announced soon, but starting today, auditions are open. Jordan, how can they audition? That's a great question. All they have to do to audition is tag at KTIG News on Instagram in a performance video or email us a link to KTIGnews at gmail.com. There will be a cash prize for the first place winner. Auditions will close on January 31st, so make sure to tag us or email us as soon as possible. More information about the event date and tickets are coming soon. Now it's Instapoll time. Last time we asked you what type of acts you would like to see in the Tiger Talent Show, and the results are in. 47% of you said a teacher act, 39% said a dancing, and 15% said singing. I heard a rumor that there might be a teacher act. I guess we will have to see. Today we'd like to ask what brand of car or truck do you trust the most? Honda, Dodge, Ford, or Chevy? Be sure to vote and let your voice be heard. Well, those are all the announcements we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on all social medias at KTIG News. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong, and make sure to tune in tomorrow for more KTIG News.